Okay, a lot of noise here because we've got tractors running and things, but I'm going to check my oil level in this gearbox. Now, it does have a uh, level plug, but I kind of like to utilize the dipstick method when I can. And here I can take this down to the bottom and draw it and get a sense of how high the oil is and compare that to where the plug is relative to the bottom and it's right where it should be. Um, so my level's okay. The question becomes, is the oil okay? So let's get that refocused in there. Try to pull oil sample here using our vacuum pump. I'm sorry, using our vacuum bottle, our UCVD Ultra Clean Vacuum device. And uh, there's that vacuum device bottle. So I'm going to need to open that up. the vacuum seal protective bag. And this just ensures for me that we've got cleanliness in our process. Start with nice clean apparatus, including new plastic tubing. Now I'm going to take the end of the tube here. Insert this. I will come off the bottom just a little bit here and open my valve and fill my sample bottle. So my sample is not coming directly off the bottom, but I came up about an inch off of the bottom. And this is the reason the tractor is running, because I just had it turned on to get this up and agitated so that I can suspend particulate and contaminants. And so far here, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I like the appearance of the oil. <clears throat> well, certainly we'll get this into the laboratory to do testing. Then I'm going to let the rest of oil return from my tubing back into the reservoir. And as I do that, put my cap onto my ultra clean vacuum device. I'm going to get a label for that. And you can see some air entrainment there from this just having been run. And you'll see that in gearboxes. They'll stir the oil up. Now I've got a sample I can take back to the laboratory and uh, see what I want to do with this oil for the winter. I'm, this is my last run with this piece of equipment. I've just re-greased all my locations. Now I'm pulling the oil sample from the gearbox. Um, I might uh, decide to leave it in the oil that we have here. If it's in good shape, doesn't have a lot of contaminants in it and the acid uh, acidity or the oxidation there is rather low um, then I may leave this oil in for my winter fill otherwise I uh, could very well drain it out and uh, drain it out and uh, put some new oil in there for storage and uh, I'm not going to use the drain plug for this I'm going to use tubing like I just did here to take my sample because uh, often those drain plugs are just a little bit off the bottom, so we leave a good bit of oil in there and more importantly leave debris behind. So I'm going to use a vacuum or probably a vacuum pump to set up uh, a siphon here uh, when I go to do the oil change at that time. 